All right, so I purchased the Yescom 6.6 foot by 8 foot awning on Amazon for around $120 shipped to my door. Good deal compared to the other ones. After first installing it completely upside down and trying to take it out and put it up, it didn't work at all. So I'm gonna run through actually putting this thing together and then I'm gonna tell you about what's wrong with it and how to fix that problem. Start by undoing all three of the outside latches. Next there's a zipper and that's part of the problem that I'm going to be explaining later all the way across the top. I will say that it definitely helps to have a second person when you're doing this, so I'm gonna do my best. It's all I have is my dog, and unfortunately he has no opposable thumbs. So once everything's open, you can roll it down like so. And this is what's wrong with it from the factory. As you can see, there is water all up in this thing. And the reason being is because the zipper is on top. So all the rainwater just goes in there and sits there. They gave me a solution to fix it, so that's what I'm gonna do. But first, I'm gonna finish putting this thing together for everybody. The legs themselves are held inside of this front aluminum case. Basically, flip these out. And this is where having someone help you would be very handy. Unfortunately, I don't right now, so I'm gonna do the best I can. On the ends that come out of the actual roof rack mount, it has a couple of nuts that go on there. And basically you just extend those to Go in, or out, you pop it in one side, and you put the nut on the other. Okay, so that side's good, moving on to the next side. Get those all the way in and tighten down. Then you can set your length if you left both of those loose. You want to go to where it's taut but not super tight. Once it's about out where you need it to be, all you got to do is twist clockwise and then basically you have a structure. At this point it's going to be really wobbly I haven't set up any supports yet, but I mean, hey, it's shade now. Next step is gonna to be to take all the Velcro on the side and actually tie it together. There are four of these on each side. And that gets it much more taut than it would be if it was just flapping around, kind of keeps it down. Good. It's not super hard to put up, a little more difficult by yourself, but you can make it happen if you need to. Uh, it does come with this extra accessory bag where these things, these ropes loop through on the ends and then you can tie them down. It comes with stakes and everything. So that's, that's pretty nice. Putting it away is just the same. You undo all the straps, you pull the things back up and you don't have to fold them all the way. It's just enough to clear inside of the aluminum. And then same on these, you just put them in and put them in. Roll it back up, then you zip it, and it's good to go. You're dialed. So like I said before, the issue is, and they said it was a manufacturing thing and they were gonna talk to their manufacturers and whatever. Anyway, they told me to take the end caps off and flip it around. I'm not sure how that works, so I'm gonna bust it apart and we're gonna see if I can actually fix this issue. Because as you can see, the zipper's on the top, and when it rained, it literally just filled up with water and has just been sitting in water. I came out here and drained it, but there was still some inside the fold of the tent. So it's good that I took it apart. Anyway, so 
that's what I'm gonna do now is take her down, take her apart, and try to flip that zipper so that it's on the bottom. I'm assuming that he's talking about these maybe? So now what I'm gonna do is take it off of this side and then flip the whole thing over and run it through the other side on this one. Pull straight back. This is what the, the people told me to do when I wrote them and told them it was upside down. Okay, now that that's in and hopefully facing the correct way, fingers crossed, should be. Uh, we laid it out, made it a lot easier. Just need to put this cap back on. I'm gonna reinstall it to the Forerunner and we're gonna see how it goes. I ended up having to run an errand last night, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all dialed in the next day. Now it's on the correct way. Perfect. It even raised it up off the truck a little bit more. So that's outstanding as well. So other than putting in the ropes and the stakes, that's all the time it takes to actually do this. It ended up taking right under four minutes to put up the thing by myself. With help, you can probably get that down to two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear it all back down and put it back on the side of the truck. So that's it. That's all there is to fixing your YesCom mess up from the factory in China. Now all I gotta do is put this in here. And this thing is no longer gonna become a log full of water. Pump on that. If I come up with any more fixes or repairs or upgrades for this thing, I'll definitely make another video on it in the near future because camping season is almost upon us. If you liked any of this content, please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want. This is Officer Dan. Catch you next time.